Hi, first graders. Today we are going to start a brand new writing unit and I am so excited to tell you about it. Last week you did an awesome job finishing your review and I loved seeing all of your writing. Today we are going to start our fiction writing unit. Now fiction is my favorite kind of book to read. It's also my favorite kind of book to write and I think you're going to feel this way too. In fiction, characters, they can be all different sorts of things. They can be imaginative, they can be real life humans, they can have a storyline of something that might happen in your life, or it could have a storyline that could never happen in real life, and that's the fun of reading and writing about fiction. Fiction writers do a handful of things before they get started. The first thing that they do is they make up pretend characters. Now these characters can be humans, they could be animals, it could be a mixture of both. It is up to you because you're the writer. I think I'm going to do a combination of having humans and animals in my book. I think I'm going to have a little girl as a character and I think I'm going to have a bird as another character. So there I have my characters. I want you to think about what kind of characters you might have as well. The second thing that fiction writers do is they give their characters a name. Well, I already knew that my two characters were a little girl and a bird. I think I'm going to name my little girl Gretchen and I'm going to name her friend, the bird, Philip. So my characters' names are Gretchen and Philip. The, thing, the next thing that fiction writers do is they imagine different adventures that their characters go on. Sorry, it's a little hard to see. They imagine adventures. So Gretchen and Philip, I'm going to pretend that they are going on an adventure where they get lost in the woods. After you come up with an adventure for your character, you're going to want to touch and tell across your pages to plan your story, just like we've done in our small moments unit, our opinion unit. You are pros at planning across your pages and touching and telling. After you plan, you start to sketch your pictures and then you start to write. Now I know that's a lot of steps to take in all at once. So to give you an example of the book while you start to think about your own characters, I'm going to read you a fiction book and you're going to see how they, what they do in their fiction book, how can, it can apply to your own writing. So this book is called Henry and Mudge and the Happy Cat. What is it? One night, Henry and Henry's father and Henry's big old dog Mudge were watching TV. Suddenly, Mudge ran to the door and barked. Ruff, 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 ruff. Henry's father opened the door. Sitting on the steps was the shabbiest cat Henry had ever seen. It had a saggy belly, skinny legs, and fur that looked like mashed prunes. Henry and Henry's father and Henry's big dog Mudge stood in the door and looked at the shabby cat. Hey, kitty, said Henry. Are you sure it's a kitty? said Henry's father. It might be a stray, Henry said, petting it. It has to be, said Henry's father. That is the shabbiest cat I have ever seen. He carried the cat into the house while Henry and Mudge followed. Mudge's tail was wagging hard. This cat looked like mashed prunes, said Henry, but it's nice. Nice for a disaster, said Henry's father. The three of them watched as the cat drank three bowls of milk in a row. Can it stay, Henry asked. Only until we find a home for it, said his father. He looked hard at the cat. Do you think it knows it's that shabby? Henry's father asked. Mudge was licking some milk from the visitor's chin. Mudge doesn't know, Henry said. Mudge likes it. Yes, said Henry's father. But Mudge also likes turkey gizzards. So that was the first part of the book, Henry and Mudge. And Henry and Mudge is a fiction book. I wanna go back over the chart with you and compare it to Henry and Mudge. So. 
Henry and Mudge, they are pretend characters and they have names and we know that they're Henry, Mudge, and Henry's dad. Now, we haven't gotten to the part where they go on an adventure yet, but that's coming in the book. Today, I just wanted to show you the characters and their name in the beginning of the story because your job today is to think up your pretend characters and give them a name. I can't wait to see what characters you come up with. 